Hey, this is Ashley from Ashley's Got the Excitement, and... I reached 100 subscribers! Cool beans! That's a great birthday present, too, because I'm filming this on my birthday. August 2nd. Yeah, but that's cool. I just got an email for my 100th subscriber today, so thank you, thank you, thank you! But that's not all this video is. Um, I'm going to do my July wrap up. And then I'm going to do, not in the same video, I'm going to do an August TBR. I'm going to do a book review. Yeah, so I'm going to be wearing this shirt a lot. But that's okay because it's a cool shirt. Except for this piece of, two pieces of hair on it. I got them. Okay. And I don't have any covers for these books because the majority of them were library books and a review books, so I've already returned them all. Returned them, and then Negella didn't really get very good covers. I mean, you don't, you don't see it. So anyway, the first book I read this month was The Girl in the Steel Corset by Katie Cross. I gave it a 4 out of 5. Um, I liked it. Uh, it was, it's steampunk. First time I got introduced to the world of steampunk. And it's a very cool world. So, I plan on reading more of those. The second book I read was The Walking Dead Compendium 1 by Robert Kirkman, Charlie Adlard, Tony Moore, and Cliff Rathburn. I gave it a 3 out of 5 my I don't know face I mean it was good I like the show better more I like the show more um, maybe because I like the characters I don't know some of the characters I was like no you can't do that because I like you too much for you to be that much of a jerk but no it was good it was humongous though I really thought I'd finish it faster than I did, but my goodness, it was humongous. But I liked it. Walking Dead, yay zombies. Um, then I read Intertwined by Gina Showalter, which I also gave a 4 out of 5. Um, and this one was good. Uh... It was just way more than I was expecting. Because on the back it says, like, it's a kid who has four souls living inside of him. And then you read the book, and that doesn't even cover half of it. There's, what is there in there? I know there's vampires, there's werewolves, there's, there's all kinds of creatures. I, I even think there's fairies. Yeah, there is. It's just craziness in there. I don't even... It was good though, and I plan on continuing with the series because I probably need to know what happens. And it is a kind of a dual perspective book. Like there's the the guy's perspective, and then it changes to another chapter, and it's like the girl's perspective. So it's not when I first I thought it was going to be just a guy's novel, like a guy's point of view novel, but it was both. Okay, so then I read The First Days, As the World Dies by Rhiannon Freider. I gave it a 4.7 out of 5. And um, I did a review on it along with another book that I read this month. So I'll link that below, I guess. And I loved this book. I freaking loved it. It was zombie-tastic. Um... The only reason that I didn't get the full five, which I said in my review, is because of the character of Ginny. She was a little crazy, and some of the times I was just like, what the world, what in the world are you doing? So yeah, but I really, I did like it, and I plan on continuing with that series. It's great. Great zombie. Great zombie fiction. Um, then... The fifth book that I read this month is The Weepers, The Other Life by Suzanne Winokur. And I gave that book a 3. A 3.2 out of 5. I liked it. But I didn't love it like I loved... 
I think uh, as the world dies, the first days, I think that set too high of a bar, and so the Weepers just fell short of it. And I think a lot of that had to do with how short the book actually was, and it just like, it's too quick. Not enough development of, of things. And, but the cool part of it was the Weepers, like the zombie. They're not really zombies, I would say, but the creatures that the infected. They were pretty cool to read about. Um, and the last book that I read this month is The Ninth Wife by Amy Stoles. I gave it a three. Three out of five. Um, I thought it was going to be a chick lit book that would be happy. It wasn't happy. It was all about, it was about marriage and how marriage can be so disappointing, I guess. The thing that, that made me the most sad while reading that book was um, this old couple. It was like Bess, the main character Bess's grandparents, and they've been married like 65 years. I want the cute old couple, you know, who can't live without, you know, they're like a pair. They've been together so long, they're just... They just have to be together. But these, this little old couple, they fought all the time. They, like, had these really mean arguments with one another. And that's not what I wanted. I, that, that's not a cute old couple. That's sad. So the whole book was pretty much just kind of depressing. A depressing view on marriage. How there's the chance that it will rarely work out. So I just, I didn't like it that much. I wished for something happier. So that's all the books that I read for the month of July. Six. I know I didn't read Something Strange and Deadly, which I said I was going to read um, in my July TBR. But that's because of my library book problem. And I gotta read those so I can return them. It's getting ridiculous. But yeah, yeah, you'll see more of that in the uh, August TBR. So that's my July wrap-up. Hope your month of reading went fantastically. Thanks to the subscribers. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys later. In the same shirt, probably. So happy reading!